notwithstanding the cities of the Levites, and the houses of the cities of their possession, may the Levites redeem at any time. Leviticus 25, 32, verse 32. Notwithstanding, the cities of the Levites, the six cities of refuge, and forty-two others, these and the houses in them are accepted from the above law, and only they, not such as they might purchase elsewhere, wherefore it follows. And, the houses of the cities of their possession, which were in cities possessed by them, and which was their possession, and given them as such. May the Levites redeem at any time, they were not restrained to a year, as houses in walled towns, but they might redeem them as they pleased or could, and if they did not redeem them within the year, they might redeem them afterwards, even years after, and any time before the year of Jubilee. So it is said in the Mishnah the priests and the Levites sell always, and they redeem always, as it is said, Leviticus 25, 32, on which one of the commentators says they sell always, not as the Israelites, who cannot sell less than two years before the Jubilee, but the Levites can sell near the Jubilee, and they redeem always, if they sell houses in walled cities, they are not confirmed at the end of the year, as the houses of Israelites and if they sell fields, it is not necessary they should remain in the hands of the buyer two years, but they may redeem them immediately if they will. This redemption was peculiar to the Levites, for if an Israelite has an inheritance from his father's mother, a Levite, he might not redeem according to the manner Levites did, but according to Israelites, and so a Levite that inherited from his father's mother, an Israelite was obliged to redeem as an Israelite and not as a Levite, for this perpetual redemption respected only houses that were in the cities of the Levites.